Dari. January 30th. Not the clock in the afternoon. Zero. Cut up. Temperature almost 80 degrees. One. Again, we are top cross cultural ministry. We will not focus on the learning aspect of that relationship. Want to open the prayer. Father, thank you for today. Thank you for meet with the students this morning. Um, thank you for offering me to meet with the students tonight. What to give all praise like for each person from Bob in the class. Pray for the struggles. Um, But he gave us what gave it us gave us wisdom. You will for our lives. Oh this we say in your name. Lecture last week. Number six. No, I'm lecture number five. This is number six. Why you two planning? Shorter than last week. Sorry, 55 minutes too long. But this week, a little bit shorter, I think. My science is to expand your understanding of the world, understanding others. My challenge. Walk from a deaf person perspective. Not walking from a hearing person perspective. So my that word understanding is a little bit different than some. Still, um, that word understanding of other people. Uh, again, we're using um, as a weapon point. Not require reading. So you know that lecture didn't come from me. I'm not that intelligent. But learn from him that helped me to teach, help me to build relationships and ministry support, and help me to keep in mind my ministry is not there. And for my, my ministry here to impact. Impact the world, not just to be used up. 9 11, 2001, I was back to And on Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, went to the McDonald's. The McDonald's on Wednesday, while I get out of the office, a phone call. My mother can't finish Wednesday night, my birthday can't. So go to McDonald's and stay there in the morning and then go back to the office and work. That afternoon, much happened. Because we closed one. 9-11, close on Wednesday. All the kids, two um, 
or get me to um, not agree. Um, that means why you do it last line bottom man that Islamic. So now Muslim not but from Islam or that Islamic country. Person wouldn't turn him because of what happened that day. Wouldn't turn him. So So I put it down. Up the what? I get fault. Put the in that town, not in New York. Man is hungry. Bomb is lamb country. Fog and not. Woo. Well, stone. Yeah. So I ordered food for both of us. And my because grab him. Might as well, um, McDonald's, home and home on board. I won't serve him. Oh, boy. No one's up there. I want to stop the problem. Might as well, of course. Go ahead, go ahead. But it's the web. I will pay. Don't worry, you to pay. I will pay. People in the audience will be more from me. Oh, you are mad. Oh, so the boy. All the food, lunch, sandwiches. Whatever, or what he could, couldn't eat. I didn't care. I ordered the best. I ordered the most, the biggest guy too. But I told the boy, you serve him, not me. You, see that man, he did. So I look. Look, I'm um, bored. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Get my bag. Uh, man, my fit with you. Can't pop up, can't understand you. He wouldn't eat for a few minutes. I finished my last to my place for work. And I came back and said, thank you. I'm glad to help. That was 2001. About 2015 or 2015, somewhere on that. I get an email. What that mean? Um, that I'm that boy, that high school student, that you got out uh, not eleven. me. And that may I email to you at the church and 
Alawado. One of you thanked me for impacting um, to our ministers. Anger impact someone else for a minister. I didn't know. But he, I'm back again. Ah, same time, fight. No. But he is now preaching the gospel to me. Making an impact all over the world. I'm here in the class. I don't care. You become in the culture. I'm more interested. You become an impact in the world of the deaf community. Again, we have five. Things. One always uh, five things that we see. Uh, seven attitude. That seven attitude is reflected through five. Seven. Eight. Fruit of the Holy Spirit. Eight. It reflected from one lot. Love is what gives meaning and purpose for the other eight. Right. Now here, first word, what openness. When I sign open, <laughs> mean ah, my, my life, where people feel welcome into my presence. No fear, no. They can know. I won't destroy them. I'm a dog, dog. I think I was thank her, but dog knows me. Earth won't think. No, I love dogs. Well, <laughs> welcome into my presence. Openness is a constant thing, not something that happens once. Secondly, acceptance. I accept him because. He is a child of God. God gave him, God created him in the image of God. And we are no different. We are the same. And because of that, he deserves my respect, my love, my support. In spite of me, God deserves my respect. He is a child of God. Truth. Truth. Truth and trust. Truth. Remember, truth works through the whole process. What they see is the truth. Yet, there is no trust there. Truly open, come. Truly adopt, come. Truly trust, we can work together. Learning, learning what we talk today. Learning about from with learning. It's an entire process. I can't learn until they trust me. The key point of everything that we do here in class. We've talked about those definitions. 
learning about what we learn about others. Now note, we're talking about people, not culture. We seek to learn more about them. We will learn about culture. People define culture, not culture defined people. From them learning about them, we learn to change our expectations. And we learn to grow and create more fruitful opportunities for more faith, greater faith, more relationships. Two things, two things that are the opposite of learning, two things that can destroy any relationship, what? Unrealistic expectation. Main expectation that they can't fit. Expectation, I can't fit, no expectation, I won't. The governess. I come, I should have no expectation. Going into that world, I want to learn as much as I can from them, with them, about them. Second thing, because I have unrealistic expectation, mean I will also have poor communication. Those are the two things that will destroy any relationship. Learning what others mean relating with them. The sign I like. I know you think, believe that you think you understand what I said. But I'm not sure you realize that what you think you heard is not the same as what I meant. No, I can't find that clearly in their thought. But I can explain this. Every relationship has some form of misunderstanding. All relationship with misunderstanding can be worked together to resolve those misunderstandings. You cannot grow in trust, you cannot grow in acceptance, you cannot grow in openness if you feel still. When the root of a friendship are deep, no reason to fear misunderstanding and lack of communication. When you develop a deep relationship with them, you don't have to worry about being misunderstood and you don't have to worry about you misunderstanding them. Why? Friendship, openness, acceptance, trust, create environment of learning. Don't do what? We learn so much. We think we've learned enough. We fear we blind enough. We don't need any more. Stop. You are a human being. As a human being, you never stop learning. And you never stop changing. That's the beauty of a relationship. 
not only do we know each other and understand each other, we go to touch each other more and more. Uh, we become more than what we envision in that relationship. No one could tell me that how I would love my wife more and more every day. No one could warn me of oh. But now, 43 years later, look back. Same person at 65, age 21. No. We, my wife and I, we talk about that a lot. We have changed. She says I have matured. I doubt it. I'm still immature, still immature, immature girl. She thinks I've grown. Oh, one thing she said, I grow up. I can show love better. Because I want to have a relationship with her. Definitely think about. Learn word is a pleasant indicative. Never stops. Keep on going. Some people think of learn as a present imperative. Well, yes, it's required. But if we don't continue, then how are we indicating where we're growing? The danger in all this, as I said before, when we feel like we've learned all we need to learn, we stop growing. Thought out. We will never learn all we need to learn. In that case, therefore, we will never stop learning to relate with others. Learning from others. <laughs> give them more opportunity for understanding. That understanding helps grow genuine relationships. Relationship with other people. The danger of what we tired of we stop learning, we become the bosses. We begin to tell, 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 tell people what to do. That tell, 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 tell people what to do. The time after that person up. When a hearing person say, never mind. Never mind. <coughs> Make it not important for you. You are denying my personhood. I'll tell you later why. You have information now, now you expect me. Where do you tell me later? It won't mean anything to say. What do you? <laughs> Let me think about that for a while. I want to know, I want to grow, I want to show with love. No, grow, show. That attitude there are many different signs for that word colonialism. I am normally typically sign colonialism. 
that want you to be dependent on me. You can't think for yourself. That's colonialism. That is the opposite of acceptance. That is the opposite of empowerment. Learning with, learning with together, that partnership, you must have equality as well as equality, equity in all relationship and function to have a partnership. Any time can or any time won't give me no partnership, none. The heart of the matter, the perception, the image, the function, all of that is brought to the table of discussion, which help to grow independence cultural sensitivity, and ministerial responsibility. That ministry responsibility is called giftedness and commitment. That's the goal, to help them to understand their gift from God and to help them to increase their commitment to serve God. We must allow them opportunities to learn, to grow, and to show. Opposite, we, they, act our, we begin to develop a shared adaptation. We begin to develop an understanding of shared ownership shared responsibility in that ministry. You as an interpreter to function as an interpreter, yes. You give information to the deaf person. Encourage the person to live on that information. What do you do with that? Learning with God, common grace lived in every individual. That is the image of God. That God put in every individual certainly gives us the right to dignity and what. So you learn about them. You learn their history. You learn their language. You learn their behavior. You learn their tradition. All of this is the most significant step, first step to begin that beginning changes, how we see things, how we see them, we grow, become more mature in our understanding of them and ourselves. And we grow in our understanding of him and his purpose for our lives. But learning these things it's important you and I don't depend on them. We must understand knowledge is important, but knowledge alone is never enough. True learning happens in relationship only. Doesn't happen in books. You learn about in books. 
that you really want to learn to change, learn to be involved in life, learn to help them to solve much be involved in relationships. Cross cultural workers can and must be started if they upon the what learn from, learn about, learn what. That leads to true authentic partnership. Let go empowerment only happen in fear of true cultural sensitivity. Now I'm going to talk about the word that's very important in the relationship communication. One simple word listening. Learn to listen, learn to accept, learn to relate. How do we do this? In our relationship with them and their coming, very important that we can begin to build a relationship and communication. We listen with our eyes but we also listen with our heart. We also listen with our minds. We also listen with our behavior. All those things that we, we do every day. We do the say something. We state the statement. What did you see? What did you learn? What did you hear? What did you see? We state it. Make sure that what you see, heard, understand, that clear. If you can, then we find the statement. I'm going to give you a top of from complex resolution. Why said she's very, very angry with I asked, and she doesn't like how the IRS treat people. Um, you are very angry with IRS. With that word that she used, my wife said, yes. And then I, and then I said, I reframed the statement. I said, oh, that really bothered you, upset you to see how I treat others. So, yeah, and then to continue conversation and talking. When we finish, my wife would say something like, thank you for listening to me. In other words, not judging her. Not a stop. Listen to her. Let her talk. Third, recommend another statement. So angry. How do you think you can resolve that issue? I want her to be involved with me. Time with minister. Okay. So we have a problem here. And from what I understand, your view of the problem is. So how do you think we should look at that to resolve it? They will always say something out. Maybe for example, we need to do more work visiting people to help them to see out of the church that we care. Great. So I make a suggestion with job how that we establish maybe two hours once a week 
when we come together and pray and then go and visit other people agreeable with you or work with them to resolve the statements and then reaffirm their discussion. Hey, thanks for being involved. Thank you for that idea. Thank you for that. That helped me understand where you are. Learn to listen, learn to accept, and learn to empower them. As a hearing person working in a deaf world, you have two jobs. You have to recognize where inequality is. Not only in your life, but also in your ministry. You have to recognize where inequity is. Where are they missing their needs? Well, what can I do to resolve that problem? You are beginning to think equality. Now you're working toward helping to establish equity to them. Some questions to think about. Don't want you to respond with the time. But think about, how can I learn? How can I understand? How can I develop a better relationship with others to increase my option to not only treat others equally, but also to treat others equitable? It's easy to love others, but it's harder to make it easy for them to benefit from what we can offer. How will I measure equality? How will I measure equity? How, who is my example for those? Think about that. So we will discuss that next week. Again, remember the picture. Tisha put aside the needs of some to meet the needs of money yeah, at the same time, hurt all. Sometimes we need to make a decision to meet the needs of some, will meet the needs of all. No one is hurt. Take care of that with your mind, your perspective of working with the deaf community. Again, Openness, acceptance, trust, learning, understanding, serving. If we do all five, well, they will know we have served them. May God bless you as you think of these questions. If you have more questions, feel free to type send them to me. I'm glad to answer them. Thank you, and may God bless you.